Hi, Matt Noyce. Weekend Insights, your deep dive into meteorology. I'll take you not just through the weekend. We're going to go out to the middle of next week because I think there's a lot of reason to still be excited if you're a skier or a snowmobiler. There's a lot of chances for snow that are coming up. We're going to talk about that, too. A Saturday night, we all may get some snow, and then it looks like by the time we get to Monday evening, Monday night, that is another chance for us. In the middle of next week, it does get warmer. The farther south you are, closer to the coast, the better chance it would be rain, not snow. But I'll tell you why. I wouldn't give up the ship in northern New England at all yet on that one. And there's some rebound in the water table. We'll talk about how much precipitation over the next seven days. Jet stream pattern today, you've got a trough, a big dip in the jet stream. That's been very familiar for us. That's what's keeping us on the colder side of life here in terms of the weather. Well, notice one disturbance drops in on top of us Saturday night into Sunday morning. That's your first chance of some widespread light snow. Next disturbance of the jet stream comes at us from the south and west by the time we get to Monday. Probably enough leftover cold that the interior even of southern New England gets a wintry mix or snow over to rain. Northern New England would end up with snow. And then you go with what we call a meridional flow where you go with a south to north jet stream wind. It picks up the Gulf of Mexico warmth and moisture. However, I'm going to show you why, again, I wouldn't give up the ship yet if you're a winter sports enthusiast. We're going to dive into that here. Let's go to 6,000 feet up in the atmosphere, about the top of Mount Washington. What's going on with temperature? The red line is the freezing line or the melting line. You can look at it either way, right? So this is going to be that Saturday night and the Sunday morning event. Most of us are still on the cold side of things, and I think there's enough cold air at the surface that many of us end up with snow. We'll look at that here in more detail in a second. This is the Monday late day and evening and night event. Again, at 6,000 feet, your freezing line's barely into southern New England. So this introduces the possibility of at least a wintry mix in the interior of southern New England. Near the coast is probably when it comes in off the water. And then the farther north you go, you're definitely uh, into snow at that point as well. So here's the Wednesday setup, middle of the next week. This is why I say don't give up the ship in northern New England because look at the forecast of the freezing line aloft. I mean, it's right across the northern greens. You only have to be off by about, what, 75, 100 miles, which from this many days out could certainly happen. And you've got the cold holding on more, and you've got a snow event instead for northern New England middle of next week. So I think there's reason still to be very excited and very hopeful, certainly in the short term. I mean, you look at the probability of one inch or greater of snow in 24 hours ending at the end of Sunday. So this is mostly Saturday night and a Sunday morning. And you're talking about at least a 50% chance for the deep interior, a 40% chance or so, or so even down the mass turnpike. And the farther north you go, the more guaranteed that is. We'll look at the snow forecast map in a second. Chance of an inch of snow or greater in 24 hours ending on Tuesday morning. So that Monday evening, Monday night stuff, still better than 50% for the deep interior of Massachusetts. There's that wind I was talking about off the ocean, cutting that chance of snow back. And then by the time we get into Wednesday's event, well, take a look. You know, still northern New England's about a 50-50 shot at bringing snow instead of rain. Let's do it one event at a time. All right, we'll start out with the weekend. Saturday's fine. The clouds increase. But here comes the disturbance. It strengthens as it moves over us and then ships east during the day on Sunday. What does that mean for us? Some snow showers in the mountains on Saturday morning that'll be left over from tonight, and then those tend to die for a bit. Again, much of Saturday's fine. By 7.15, you're looking at light snow spreading into the Green Mountains and the Berkshires. By the time we get to 11, that snow is spread over a lot of the remainder of northern New England, western New England getting into it as well. And overnight, you'll swing this through. Watch what happens. Far southern, southeastern New England, you will get rain instead. Uh, that's a possibility up the coastline to Boston to mix as well. The farther north and west you go, the more it's probably snow. Still snowing Sunday morning at most of the ski areas across the north. That does break up during the day, but up and down the greens, even the northwest facing slopes of the Whites Lake Cannon, we continue to get the snow off and on through the course of uh, Sunday with leftover snow showers will be blowing around and some heavier squalls in the greens. So when you put it all together, it's really varied. I mean, you've got that Saturday night into this early Sunday morning shot that's what maybe a coating across a lot of southern New England mm, a mixture you could get a little on the grass in far southeastern mass but the farther north and west you go northern Worcester County that fits into one to two inches when you line it up to the legend western mass actually some of the higher terrain in the blue is two to four inches and then I mean it's a whole different ball game the last few days I've been telling you the green mountains you're going to double your fresh snow you got yesterday just over the weekend alone and you can see why I say that you got this big area eight to twelve inches that shows up in purple up and down the green right and again you can see the northwest facing slopes of the whites do a little bit better too a lot of the lakes region is somewhere between either the one to two or the blue of two to four but four to six across some of the presidentials in fact you can see the eight to twelves that show up as well when you start getting into some of the uh, high terrain of the whites and then running in to the three thousand and four thousand footers across northern new hampshire and again same deal in the northern Ma uh, vermont in maine we're talking about generally a two to three two to four inch snowfall that'll come down maybe some locally higher amounts for you and when you come up into northern maine you run out of moisture a little bit, but you still at least have a bit of snow that comes again mostly for you over the course of Sunday morning with the first part of that uh, kind of system departing. 
Here it is on the bigger picture, dropping in, moving over us, strengthening as it comes off the eastern coast of Maine and continuing east from there. Looks like Monday, a lot of the day is kind of a break, although notice a warm front on the way with rain. But remember, we look together that there still isn't a lot of warmth coming in yet by the time we get to Monday evening, which means for a lot of the interior of southern New England, there's absolutely the chance that we get snow or snow to wintry mix Monday evening into night. By Tuesday, it's less organized. The warm front trying to come through is a better chance of getting some rain showers scattered around still scattered mixed showers across northern new england and that sets you up for wednesday's event that we looked at together already so precipitation in the next seven days is pretty hardy across a lot of new england again that's why i say it helps the water table definitely now admittedly where it's snow it doesn't necessarily melt immediately into the water table but you get the idea that we're making improvements anyway if you go day by day and you want to plan out the weekend look it's still cold on saturday no question about that the wind is blowing it's not as bad though as it's been these last couple of days we get into saturday night you get the snow that comes in the mixture when you get near the south coast but if you look at these lows you see why i say there's still enough cold air to get that snow to come down and accumulate. You get into Sunday, you're up near 40 degrees, starting to make some progress here anyway. Still the snow showers and squalls across the mountains. Sunday night, you're down into the 20s. And by the time we get into Monday, remember, even if we go into the 40s on Monday, and I'm not sure that everybody in this zone does, central New England probably stays in the 30s, you're still able to cool Monday night enough that, yes, you could absolutely do a wintry mix Monday evening and night through the deep interior. Continue to keep track on this forecast. We'll have an updated video for you Saturday morning as we do every weekend, but you can watch both the hourly forecast and the 14-day trends or track the radar over the weekend as the snow comes through with our free app, Moises One Degree Outside, whether on the App Store and Google Play. Hope you feel equipped for the upcoming weekend in terms of weather here. Look forward to seeing you Saturday morning, and of course, we'll be back at it again on Monday.